Hey guys, the intention of this video is just to show you um, some of the main features of the toolbar on RDWorks and um, a few of the little um, features that are within the program. If we work our way down this toolbar, um, we've got two selection tools. I like to think of it as our direct selection, similar to Adobe Illustrator, and our, they actually call this one our node edit or node selection. So if I left click on that, I can then directly select components. Um, if I hold down shift, I can select more than one at a time and, and slowly bank them up. Or I can just left click, hold the left mouse button down and throw a big lasso around the lot. So that's fairly handy um, button to know and it's good to know the difference here. So if I go to node edit, <clears throat> I can now grab those nodes and change my shape that way. Um, to get out of there, just press escape once and that will take you back to this selection tool. If in doubt, just press it again. Um, and so then working our way down, we've got some basic drawing commands, lines and arcs. Um, there's a rectangle feature and an ellipse tool. So rectangle is pretty easy. The ellipse one is what you're going to use to do a circle. So you'll draw that circle. And if I select it, you'll see that the width and the height aren't equal. So it's not a perfect circle at the moment. You'd have to make those values equal. So just highlight them and change them both to the same number. And then you'll get a perfect circle. In all honesty, don't waste your time trying to um, construct any um, meaningful geometry within this program. It's slow, clunky, and not very user friendly. Um, <clears throat> use my other videos if you if you get stuck. But the best way to do it is to to make um, all your files within Inventor, and then export them as a DXF into RD works and that's how I've got this backboard here with my holes perfectly spaced and correct sizes um, and then put your logo or your design whatever you want within that shape to be scanned in um, you might watch other videos and they refer to the scanning or the engraving as rastering um, it's the same thing it just depends on what software you're using with your laser so rd works is calling it a scan um, if you have an epilog laser they'll call it a raster and um, yeah if, but if you want to just think of it as uh, as a engraving as such and we're calling it a scan within this program text tool here quite simple you just select it click on there and then it's a lot like microsoft word and away you go working our way down we have a delete uh, button at the moment it's not optional because nothing's selected so if I go and I select something delete tool works um, you can if you're on a Mac like me but running Windows I only learnt the other day but you can press function and then delete and then that will bring your delete key uh, back into play like it's running on Windows um, this mirror functions vital so if we were to do this logo and we wanted to um, scan on the reverse side of a clear piece of acrylic, we would need to mirror this text so that we can see it on the other side. So if we, if we were looking to do uh, yeah, rastering on the back side of, of our product, so we've got that, that effect, we can just use our mirror function and switch it backwards and forwards. So that's pretty much it for that side. Working our way across the top here now, one very important tool will be your import one. Um, if you watch some of my other videos, I'll be importing files onto our worksheet, and that's done through here. Um, export, I haven't really done any exporting as such just yet. Uh, we've got some view tools here. I use a mouse with a wheel. I find it way quicker and a lot easier but even still sometimes kids will get confused when they zoom out too far so it's important that you know this one here which is view all so it's got the little a in it and it will it'll bring your 
your workpiece into view. Um, we've got some constraining tools for alignment. They're very self-explanatory. You can grab um, two items and then tell them to uh, center align and vertically align. And then if we keep going across here, we've got our bitmap handle. That's important to know where that is. At the moment, we don't have a bitmap in our uh, workspace. If it was, we could select that handle and there's some other features within it. And they're shown in my other video as well. Over here is our preview button. Now, you're gonna wanna be able to click on that and know where that is because there's no point sending it to the laser without having a look at what the preview is. You can X out or press escape 